In this video I'm going to talk about Xpacker. Xpacker is a utility that comes with Racetrack Builder and it's used to create the theme packs and Xpacks, expansion packs, uh, that we can use to bring objects and materials and different textures into Racetrack Builder. And uh, when you first start Racetrack Builder you present it with a screen like this and it's got a couple of options and uh, there'll be more as time uh, proceeds as we get more content made and delivered. Um, so you can actually build this stuff yourself if you know what you're you're doing. It's a little bit technical um, but not impossible. Um, so these here are theme packs. They are expansion packs which have materials for both the road and the terrain as well as at least one cross section for the for the roads. Um, so they differ slightly from XPAX and if I just create a uh, file here and go into the XPAX the expansion packs there's other ones here and they don't contain your materials such as these materials here for for um, the terrain or for the tracks um, so to launch XPACKER I'll just switch into Steam here you can right click here and click X pack or if you double click here you can launch it this way and up it pops and it's a fairly bland interface and um, the first move you want to do is create a new X pack here so I'm going to do that um, just before I do I'll talk about the folders where it's going to create this expansion pack um, there's three different folders that you kind of need to be aware of um, the first I'll talk about, yeah, you don't really have control over, but this is where uh, the expansion packs that we deliver through Racetrack Builder will end up. That's under your Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Racetrack Builder, Themes. Um, so they're the ones that we'll create and add more content to as time goes by. The um, next folder is where your X packs will be created. This is where you design them. And it's under your documents folder and there's a racetrack builder Xpacker folder that will get created when you run Xpacker. So if I want to create a new one here and I just right test there and create empty Xpack, we can um, see that it's created here. If I want to um, then start working with this and we say okay let's um, add a actually I'll, I'll add a new material here and for the diffuse texture I'll just um, pick test one there say yes to that save that off and that's created a new material and um, that's actually created a little icon from the image that I had and it's created some XML which is describes the, the material you can then edit the material properties here. Um, I'm going to cover each of these tabs in um, more tutorials later on. This is just an introductory one. Um, and you can uh, modify the uh, textures here. Just be careful when you've got it open here. Sometimes just the simple act of um, clicking these can hold locks on these files and folders. So you want to be um, out of those folders um, if you're looking at them through Explorer um, whilst you're making changes here. So let me just do a, uh, another change here. We'll create a subfolder there so that uh, we can organize our images, our textures into different folders and that will have created, if I go into here, the um, test folder and, and move that texture into the, the folder that we created. Um, if we look at the materials there, the material also got edited. It would be referring to the texture in there as well. And that would also get updated to uh, look at the new path. So you can see that the path there for the div map now has that um, extra folder in there. So whilst you may be editing one tab here and just changing one thing here, it may affect the materials here. Um, the cross sections, if you're editing materials, the cross sections and objects and um, that may be updated. Um, on here we can create road materials and terrain materials. Now this is where X packs become theme packs. This is where the difference is. You want to create a road material, the material that we just created, we add it there 
and it will appear in, as a road material that in racetrack building that you can drag and drop down onto the um, road and same thing with terrain um, I've only got the one material there it doesn't really make sense but if um, I had a terrain material there that would then show up in the icons uh, across the top in racetrack builder um, that allow you to paint in those materials um, the other thing a, a theme pack requires is cross sections so um, if you create a cross section you want to tag it for roads um, I don't support walls yet in RTB so make sure you if you create one here um, you make sure it's ticked there when, before you save it um, and um, lastly once you uh, oh, one thing I should say here is try to finish off whatever editing you're doing here and save it off before moving to a different tab there'll be times when because of the interrelationships between the objects you really need to have them saved off um, properly before you move on um, because a material here is used in an object and if you've made a change to a name here and not saved it then it's not going to update this object and you'll come back to it and you'll lose your um, changes that you've made so save before moving off these tabs if you want to um, keep some consistency between it. Another thing I do is create backups um, I create a copy of the XPack the whole folder and just rename it with a, a backup on the end of it and I never ever touch that again I don't open it in XPacker like when we go open XPack um, it's got a list of all the things we've got here um, so I never go and open up these ones I just leave them as backups um, once you have got all your materials um, and textures and everything done and set up and you want to zip it off click zip to XPack and um, that's going to zip it and save it off into the last folder I need to talk about um, which is under the racetrack document racetracks uh, builder folder which is where all your projects are there's also an additional XPAX folder so RTB will look in here for any extra XPAX or theme packs um, that you might have created so zipping it from here zip to RTB create test and it's gone and put the, the zip there so RTB and it is just a zip file it's um, just all those materials that were in the folder before um, all zipped up you could pretty much do the, the same thing by just selecting everything zipping it up and sticking it into that folder um, so that's how you go about creating XPACs and a um, little bit of information about them um, it's been asked you know will I um, import objects into directly into RTB rather than going through XPacker probably not um, XPacker has the, the good features that you set up a lot of properties here that uh, are kind of hidden in the interface in RTB and, and you don't really want to know about it um, a lot of things happen automatically for you in RTB so I want to keep it that way and this also promotes um, sharing and it also promotes um, the grouping of materials and textures and reuse of textures on materials so that um, things work more efficiently in game if you import many objects um, they can share the same materials and textures depending on what you're doing um, and it's a good way to to um, organize your stuff so it, it's really best off trying to create the X packs if you can all right thanks for watching good luck and I'll have more tutorials on each of these tabs coming up soon